welcome back. Mr. Charlie and Mrs. Jamie making artwork shop. And what we are going to do today is we're going to make what's called a natural environment. We are going to put, we decided we were going to make a caterpillar in its natural environment. So what is a natural environment? A natural environment is a place that that outside that the earth made. So is a park a natural environment? Nope. Is the forest a natural environment? Yes. yes. Good job. Um, so we are going to start with the background of our project and for that we need a bunch of leaves and sticks. So we are going to go on a leaf and stick hunt outside and go find some leaves and sticks. And tonight, that's funny. Charlie did an amazing job going out and finding all these different leaves. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something called a texture rub with the leaves. So Charlie, find your favorite leaf. Okay, and if you see on the back of the leaves, they have all of their veins. And their veins pop up a little bit and create a bumpy mm -hmm. texture. So you want to use that side of your leaf and put it underneath your paper with the bumpy side up. You might want to use a different one, Charlie, because that one doesn't have a very bumpy texture. With the bumpy side up, you're going to use the side of a crayon with the paper off. You're going to lay it down like it's sleeping, and you're going to press down, and you'll start seeing the leaf outline. So you want to, your leaf is right here. Make sure you know where your leaf is. Press down pretty hard. There you go, Charlie. Good job. Ah. <laughs> Hold on to your crayon. <clears throat> Beautiful. That is amazing. So then what you can do is we can trade leaves. Do you want to trade our leaf? You can try this leaf. Now I'll try your leaf. We can even use different colors. Now this is going to be the background to our project. So I'm going to choose another color. And it's going to be kind of like a sky. So we're sticking to some blues and purples. Use the side of the crayon, Charlie. Not the pointy part, like it's sleeping. See how I do this? Look, it's laying down. My crayon is laying on its side. leaf here. Now use this purple one. That one looked really good. Whoa. Good shot, Charlie. How about right up here? Nope. You have to know where your leaf is. Okay. Because right up here was your leaf up here? No. No. So try to find where the outline of your leaf is. Looks like yours was folded a little bit. So we can get different kinds of leaves. Mm -hmm. So Charlie and I have found these leaves outside and we thought that they would look like really cool grass. So we're going to cut some of these pieces and then glue them on the bottom of our art to create the grassy part of our natural environment. Now how you create yours is up to you and your own creativity. We just kind of found you know what we had in our yard and are using our imaginations to make this into some sort of outdoor natural environment for the caterpillar we're gonna make at the end. So here we go.
then we have our paints and we put on just a little bit of every color. So Charlie, tell them what kind of caterpillar you're going to do and where it's going to go. Let's plan. Um, oh, God bless you. A rainbow caterpillar that goes here to here. Oh, that is a great idea, Charlie. And so what we're, we also have a rag to wipe our thumbs off. So if we switch colors, um, we'll have a clean thumb for our, our new color. So Charlie, you're going to start. So if you're going to dip your thumb, you want to do your finger instead? Okay. And then start where you want it to go. And you kind of want like a bigger finger. Okay. So I'm going to start too. I'm going to have a green one, and mine's just going to go down my stem. So I'm going to have my caterpillar go there. Okay. Yep. I'm going to get a new color. I'm just going to go this way. Wipe my finger off. So I can get a new color. Everybody, your artwork, your finished product. And what do you like about your product, Charlie? I like the rainbow. I just like the whole thing. I do too. It's awesome. And then here is mine. And we will see you next week. See you later, everybody. Yeah. High five. Bye.